I'm Alex from Redbeard Sailing and today I'm going to show you how to take down your X-Cat and put it away. Let's get to it. I'm going to start off by furling away the Genoa. Get that nice and tight and cleat it. I store a small strap that comes with the boat on the forestay right here at this beefy point. And this goes around the Genoa just like this. Now I'm going to release the furler and relax these sheet lines. And then I'm going to pull these through. The first one's gonna be a little harder than the second one, but you wanna give a little push from behind and you can pull on the line to get it through. Same thing here. You wanna bring this line in as far as you can and then pull it out. And you can leave those done. Next, we're going to do the mainsail. So we've got, it'll be uh, similar to our setup. Uh, we're going to uncleat this and we're going to hook this bungee onto this horn right here. This is going to give us the flexibility that we need to unhook the Cunningham, the Vang, and the main sheet. Next, we don't have to do anything other than unhook this and let go. Just to give you a pan out shot of what that looks like. This is how fast the sail is gonna come down. Not that it's heavy or will hurt or anything, but you can see, you know, if you needed to bring the sail down in a hurry, again, just unhook this and the sail comes down in a hurry. We're gonna take off the mast float, which is real easy. You unhook it. And then I like to put it back together just to keep things tidy. Just clip this back together. And we're gonna set this aside. Now, I did lose my halyard at the top, so maybe hang on to that if you're trying to release it in a hurry. But what we're going to do is we're going to release this four-stay line right here. So you're just going to pull it up and away, you know, pull it tightening and then up. And then you're going to release this all the way to this red knot right here. So that this is fully undone, just like when you put the book together. We're going to unhook the gooseneck. It's always nice, sometimes these, these hoops get kind of overlapped on each other. So if you just straighten it out here, before you have the mast pick, you know, before you lift the mast up to try and unhook these, you can do it all in one fell swoop. All right, so how I grab the mast in order to unhook this is I like to grab it with my armpit. I like to get my arm around it. It's worth noting that you can just pick up. You don't have to do anything. This, these are the forestay and the shrouds are gonna hold the mast. Uh, so it's not going to fall over. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pick up with your armpit so that the mass is lifted and you're just going to unhook these. Those bottom ones a little silly. And they should come off nice and easy if you've done that, that little prep step. All right, now that that's unhooked, we're just going to roll this mainsail up. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for this bat that has the X-Cat symbol on either side of it. And you want to put, I like to stand on the boat so that things can kind of lay a little bit more naturally and not get bound. Again, I'm holding this baton just like this. We're going to roll. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab this baton and I'm going to bring it up parallel with like a nice little fold here. find this would be the, the easiest way to roll and so so now I have my large straps here on the crossbar I'm going to use one of them in the middle to keep my mainsail stowed and this will be nice to have for you know it's nice to keep it stowed like this for when it goes into the sail bag just like that 
Um, I am going to set this aside for right now and then we'll pack the, the sail bag together and we have both sails. This is loose. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the mast up. So I'm going to grip it high, lift it up, and then I'm going to lay it down on the trampoline of the boat. Just like this. Now, I'm going to take the Genoa off first so that I can pack that sail bag. So you're just going to release the snap shackle up top. You're going to release the snap shackle down here on the furler. And then here's the cool thing about it. It stays furled because we've got the strap on it. We just fold the sail in half and you actually take this snap shackle at the top of the furling, the top drum, and then you put it through the chain link at the bottom so that it's connected, just like that. We're gonna set this aside now. We have the the wind vane just comes right out, it just pulls. You don't have to do anything with it, it just pulls straight out. And we're gonna set this in the bag for right now. All right, your next step is we're gonna undo the shrouds. Um, so those are real easy. You have these uh, retained pin shackles here. And you're just gonna take them off and hook them back up. We're gonna do the other side now. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna take the mast apart. It's two sections. So we're gonna take two sections apart. We're gonna separate them. We're gonna move the top section back because we're gonna stow this. Uh, you know, this is a kind of a, a really great um, feature of the XCAT is that it has a built-in stowage system. Um, so I'm gonna show you now how to put away and stow your carbon mast so that it's tidy and can be easily put away. So you start with your shrouds right at the mast section. Get this out of the way, we don't need that right now. So each of these go up and over these little devil horns at the top of the mast. So just to show you, it goes up and over, nice and easy. We're gonna grab these shrouds again. We're gonna bring them in decently snug and tight here. And you'll see that there's a horn right here over the bottom of the mast. We're gonna go right through there and we're gonna hold this like this. So there's our setup right now. So we've gone up over the horns, back down over this bottom horn. And then we are now going to get the hook, you know, the halyard hook here that the, that the mainsail hooks onto. And this, is going to go through all four of these shackles, just like this. And it's nice to just keep things a little tidy as you go through this, that way you're not getting caught up with anything. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna pull this red handle all, or we're gonna pull this, actually no, I lied, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're gonna take this hook here uh, which is the our purchase system uh, for the halyard and we're gonna hook that on this end right here That hooks right there now you take your red handle after that this is hooked on here And you're gonna pull this nice and tight now again It's gonna feel a little weird because it pulls back towards where you just hooked it So it doesn't feel supernatural, but as long as you've got all of these hooked Which it looks like we lost one. So let's get this guy back on here got all that on there, all four of these hooked. We're gonna pull this nice and tight and then go over this horn again, right here. So we're gonna bring that, the red handle, the gray line here, back over the horn. And all the way up here to the top of the mast. And then we're going to take this bungee and put it around this red handle. And that keeps everything tidy, just like this. So now you'll notice that the mast is skinny at the top and at the bottom and thicker in the middle where they connect. You're gonna keep the skinny ends to the skinny ends and the thick ends to the thick ends. We're gonna use two straps to keep the, the mast nice and tidy for storage and transport. We're gonna take the long strap 
and go around everything right here, right at where the, the two fattest sections of the mass are. So not the cutaway part here at the bottom, but the two fattest sections. And then we're gonna take our last small strap that comes with the boat. I store this one on the rudder. And this is gonna go down the skinny end. Just like this. Now I'm gonna set this aside because I don't put this into the bag until I put the other part into the bag so this doesn't get scratched or damaged. So I'm gonna set this aside with the sails. We're not gonna take off these little pieces here. So main sheet, you just undo these, these, uh, these little hand nuts here, real easy. I usually pull this all the way tight and then just stow this like this. Basically, I coil it all up and then I take two bites, pass the, the line through the bites. That stows it nicely. We're going to set that aside right here. We're going to unhook this from the bungee and now we're going to stow and put away the running rigging. So the Genoa, the Genoa block comes off, these shroud blocks are next to come off. Again, it's just those hand nuts. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now what I like to do is I like to grab the gray lines together and run my hand uh, that way it keeps them about halfway, so it makes setting the boat back up just a touch easier. And again, start here. Make a couple of, oh geez. A couple of loops here. We're gonna let a couple of pieces off here. Take a bite. Take another bite. That's fine there. This is gonna go into a bag, so it's not a, it's not super imperative. It's not like you're hanging them up or anything. And then you just pass this around and do a crisscross, whatever makes you feel good. Just stow this up. Nothing special. Again, it's all gonna go into a bag, so it's not like it's gonna come unraveled. You can take this and set this aside. All right, we're gonna take the rudder off next, uh, which is really easy. You don't even have to unhook this bungee here that, that keeps everything tidy. You lift up on this handle, then you pull the hook out of this slot here, push this handle back, clip it back down, grab right here at the front of the rudder and right here at the back, pull straight back, and then start to rotate up while you're pulling back very gently and everything will slide right off. We're gonna set this aside. Now we're going to do the bowsprit. Bowsprit simple. Push this back against the bungee and it'll slide right off the center bar. Very similar to the rudder. You're going to pull straight back, lift all the way forward, it'll lift all the way up so that this is clear of it, and then you're going to push this back to this open slot and slide it off. Now, I take this bang, the hook right here, I take our, our bang and this mass step, the mass step I stretch to put underneath of these, these uh, bow wires here, this bang circle here, I hook onto the furler and the snap shackle that's on the furler. And it, you can do this anyway, this is not scientific. I then come down and then I go around a couple of times. This keeps it pretty tidy and it's not too hard to undo. So there's that. We'll put this side as well. Now we're down to just the base boat. This is really, really simple. Um, it's pretty awesome as well. Um, so let me show you how to do this. So we have right here at the front of the trampolines, you'll see this little ramp here. This is really great. This allows you to pull this pin out and rest it on the ramp. And this is your, your third set of hands when taking the boat apart. So then we'll go to the back of the trampoline here where you'll have just a naked pin 
you'll pull this out just like that nice easy actuation and then you'll rotate this bar towards the inside of the boat and that will release the trampoline tension so then you'll just take this off and the first side i like to go over the top i like to roll away from me and the reason for that is is that i can store this just like this if i'm putting this boat away alone i can store this by just getting it nice and tight resting it on top now for the same thing we've got the ramp here we're going to set that in position we're going to come to the back here we're going to lift this up and then rotate this up now instead of rotating it over i'm going to rotate this under so i'm going to rotate this towards me to stow it just like this now if i were wiser i would have this strap ready for this step but you can use your knee or otherwise just hold this the strap on the side because the top one's holding here you're just using your knee to brace this one go just in front of the hiking straps with one of the large straps boom stowed all right and then so all we have left is to take the crossbars out so we're going to flip up all four of these red tabs and then we're going to turn all of these collars a quarter turn counterclockwise They move really easily, just, you know, one finger on each side, nice and easy. All right, so now we're going to take the stern section off first. So that just lifts straight out. You pull this one out, it's really, really lightweight. So it's real easy to, to, to just pull out and sit down. You can let this hang. Um, I don't like to do that. So I typically, from this point, I just hand over hand it up to about here. And then I just pull nice and gently back and sit it straight down. Now this, if you have someone else with you, tell them to wash their feet. <laughs> but you'll pull this section off and this hole will just rotate away. Same thing here, we're just gonna lift this up. Just like that there. Now I like to put the holes heels up. We're gonna do this same thing right here. All right, I'm gonna go grab the bags and then we will put this boat into the bags. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna pack these smaller parts into their respective bags. So we've got the mast, or we've got the, the rudder, the bowsprit, and the sails. Uh, so we'll just start with these. These are really nice. Obviously they're labeled with what goes in each bag. Bowsprit goes in just like this. The rudder will go in just like this. Put this right here. really really easy to get in here it's a perfectly sized bag now how I do it is I make sure you see how uneven all of this side is I put this side into the bag first put the mainsail in first and then I grab this end of the, of the Genoa Find a flat spot on the mainsail. And that fits in perfectly. This was designed, you know, for this. We have a Dyneema forestay, so you don't have to have any worries about folding that, uh, that Genoa in half. You're not gonna pinch a stainless line or anything. Hey, Mom! 
Next, we're going to put the, we're going to fill this, uh, the center beam and trampoline bag. Now we did not put the mast in here first. I put the center bar in first because it's big and heavy. So <laughs> I'd rather the mast be pushed in around this one instead of this just shoving its way through the mast. So it's a equal sided bag, so it doesn't matter which side you start on. Put one end in. Then the other end, just like that, and you'll see that there is a padded divider here that'll separate the two once they're in here. Just like that. So now that we have that spot identified, let's put the mast in. So we'll just put it in right underneath of that padded divider. Sure that we've got a little more space down here. It's not a hard bag to fit in, but it is the right, it is a perfect fit. So that is now packed away. Next, we're going to fill this bag here. Now this also has a full size flap. So we're gonna take the big divider flap and we're gonna flip it up with the lid. Now, it, the, all the, all the X-Hats that we sell come with a wooden motor mount on the transom. This one doesn't have it, but you'll see the mount right here. There'd be a big wooden mount here. That bar goes in last. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn all of these spiky bits, face them downward, put these into the bag as far forward, as far close enough to this divider as you can. The divider, I push over, although, yeah. just like this. Now I didn't mention this, but make sure you flip these red tabs down so that they don't get broken in transport or storage. Now this will fit in just like this. You're just gonna fit it just inside of the other bar. Just like that, should fit perfectly. It should look beautiful, just like this. Uh, next, we're gonna put the, the rudder in. And then bowsprit. Just like that. Now we'll put, we'll get the mass load ready to put in. We'll stick it right here. The sails can either be carried separately or if you're pressed for space, or you're putting this on the roof rack of your car, you can put that bag right there. We're gonna put the mass float right here. I think it might be a little bit ambitious how we have it stored. All right. And then the last couple of pieces that we have left actually fit really nicely in these top pockets. You'll find your owner's manual in here. There'll be a wrench. You'll find some other, other bits and pieces in these pockets as you go unpack your boat. We go grab the rigging and then that'll be it. And you can divide it evenly. Sometimes these pockets are a little bit pressed. I've got a nice little, a little loose pocket right here. I can stick that, I'd imagine, on this side, I have the same. And 
and that's it. We have put the XCAT back into the bags. You can see right here, didn't take us forever. Um, it's a really awesome little boat. You know, all you would need to do is throw this into the bed of your pickup truck or on the roof of your car and you're ready to go sailing. So fair winds and we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching.